sum of the year digit depreciation method it is a depreciation method it is an other form of accelerated depreciation is the sum of year digit method sometimes it is called syd in this method the depreciation rate is started as a fraction which is gets smaller each year these shrinking factor determine the percentage of the depreciable amount charge to depreciation expense each year we will use the following formula to calculate the depreciation expense under sum of year division method the formula is s y d is equal to depreciation base is multiply with fraction in the fraction it is a denominator it is a denominator we will write on the denominator numbers of the years remaining useful life in the denominator we will write sum of year digits the key of this sum of year digit method is computing the series of the fraction used as a denominator rate the method draw its name from the denominator of this fraction which is the sum of the year which designate each year of the asset used for life we will only face problem to calculate the denominator number no let's say if i say five is a useful life then how we will calculate the denominator sum of year digits we will try it one we will write the counting 1 2 3 4 5 and added these numbers the 15 in this case if you use for life is 5 we will write in the denominator is as a 15 let's say if a use for life is a 4 then then we will count count these numbers the we get the sum of 10 then we will try the sum of 10 under the denominator if i use for life is 6 then then we will count all these numbers and write under the denominator it come in under 21 in case of if use for life is 6 if use for life is more than 10 to 20 years then this counting is creating a problem sometime we will use a formula here in this formula n is equal to use for life let's say then as a useful life then we will write then where is 
m in this formula. When we simplify this formula, 10 plus 1 is equal to 11 over 2, it becomes uh, 5.5 and 55 years. We will use both um, method to calculate the sum of year digits. It, it will depend on this situation to situation. If I will explain this formula with the help of uh, an example, it will more uh, clear for you how to calculate the depreciation expense under the sum of the year digit method. Let's say equipment. Seventy thousand is cost. Residual value equal to two thousand. Useful life is five. If I create a schedule, it will be more easy to explain it. Here is the years. I write the number of the years. In this formula, we need a depreciable base. In the depreciable base we will calculate 17,000 minus residual value. It will become a 15,000 15,000 as a depreciable base The second point in the formula is Multiply with the fraction And the sum of year digit useful life is 5 Under it will become a 15. We will write a 15 under the denominator. In year 1, the remaining useful life is a 5 years. When we will multiply 15,000 with a fraction 5 over 15, we will get the depreciation expense for 5,000 in year 1. In year 2, the denominator remains the same. The denominator only change. In year 2, the remaining useful life are 4 years left. When we will multiply 15,000 with a fraction 4 over 15, we will get the depreciation expense under the year 2 is 4,000. Here is a 15 into 3 3,000. Under the year 4, the remaining useful life of the asset is 2 or 15, 2000. And over 15, here is a 1000. In this example, we will note a one point. The depreciation amount is a full year amount. If the asset is purchased, in partial year, then how we can calculate the depreciation expense under the sum of the year digit method? Uh, I can explain this concept with the help of an example. Let's say an equipment is bought in 2018 um, in October 1. Equipment cost is 70,000, residual value is 2,000, and useful life is 5 years. In year 1, years The depreciable base is equal to 17,000 less 2,000, it is equal to 15,000. Multiply with sum of the year digit and plus 2 plus. 3 plus 4 plus 5 equal to 15. In first year, 
the remaining useful life uh, is five years. Then we will multiply with an other fraction in October two. December it is three months we will multiply with three and divide by twelve when we will solve this calculation we will get the number is one two five zero in two thousand Nineteen. It is the second year almost. Then we will do the calculation. First, it will cover the nine months of previous fraction duration in year two. We will get the depreciation and expense amount in this way. First, fifteen thousand multiplied by five over nineteen, then nine over twelve. It will we will get three thousand seven fifty. In the same year, we will do the another calculation. Fifteen thousand multiplied with four over fifteen, then multiply with three over twelve. We will then we will add the Two numbers. It is the interpretation expense we will charge in year two. In year three, three year it become a, is two thousand twenty one. In year three, we will multiply with uh, five fifteen thousand. The fraction four over fifteen multiplied by nine over twelve, we will get a number is three thousand and seven fifty. In year four, we will do the same step. Five hundred two seven five zero. In year five, fifteen hundred and two fifty one seven five zero. But in two thousand twenty-three, the rest of the nine year will be covered in this in two thousand twenty-three. This amount will be charged. In this way, we will calculate the depreciation expense under the partial year in sum of year division method. I hope you will understand this concept. Kindly subscribe my channel and thumb up these videos and share with your friends. It will helpful for all of your friends and you also.